Hey guys, what's up? It's Trey from Money Growth Academy. Today what I'm gonna share with you guys is something a little new, something that we're gonna do on the channel. I notice on a lot of these YouTube channels that I watch, all these entrepreneurs, they talk mad game about all these different kind of hustles that they do. And I've even got some videos like that where I've got all these lists of different hustles. But what I wanna show you guys is how to actually do one of those hustles. So one of those hustles that I actually have some skill that I can talk about is a window washing business. Now this is a business I did back when I was in college making about $2,000 plus $2,000 a week. So you can make some great money doing this. It doesn't take any scale and it's a business that you can start literally, literally from you know zero dollars from being broke. So that's what I want to show you guys because on this channel we talk a lot about investing, um, digital businesses, things like that. And that's where I want to push everyone on this channel to is how to create your own digital course or how to sell and monetize your knowledge or how to create a business or a SaaS type platform. But, you know, for a lot of people, it's like, well, Trey, how do I even get there? You know, I've got zero dollars today. I'm trying to pay off my loans. I've got these debts. How do I even get there? Well, it's with a side hustle guys that's how you get there that's how i've been able to build my wealth and that's how a lot of the big giants and tycoons of the entrepreneurial world have done it as well so what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to start taking you guys through different hustles so for this one we're going to do window cleaning business i'm going to show you guys how much i paid for supplies you know how i marketed it and got customers you know the skill that's involved what you need to do so i'm going to break that all down for you guys throughout a series on this channel and like i said we're going to do it with a lot of businesses so you guys can learn exactly what you need to do to get out there today guys today making money no excuses if I could make over two thousand dollars a week doing this for less than 12 hours of work a week you guys can definitely do this as well so let's get that money flowing all right you can see there's a lot of stuff here but I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to get started you don't need all of this to get started at first guys you can slowly build up and I wouldn't recommend that you get it all at once slowly build up job by job and get what you need but the essential things that you need to start up let's go over okay so the first little thing you're gonna need is a squeegee okay so this squeegee right here is a 12 inch squeegee it's about 19 bucks and it's an Ettore or a Tory however you want to pronounce that uh, this Ettore right here is about 18 inch, so this is about 20 bucks. Uh, more specific, about $23 for that guy. Uh, I've got a 14 inch one, and that was $25, okay? And then the side bucket, I would recommend that you get a side bucket, all right? Because it has this little belt clip here so that you can actually stand up, you can work, you can put it in there, you're not dripping crap over everyone's houses. That's about $39, okay? Then you're gonna need like a Lowe's five gallon bucket. That's gonna cost you about 2.98. And some of the stuff, guys, you might already have. Like if you already have five gallon buckets laying around, just use those buckets. Don't go out and buy new stuff, okay? Um, the next thing, and you can see here, once you start to upgrade, this is what I was talking about. You don't need all this in the beginning, but this is a swivel, or a swivel head, sorry guys. This is by Unger. You can pick these ones up at Home Depot. And I really like this one because you can bend it and work around windows. You'll see once you get started, that's easier to work with. But these little guys right here, guys, these Ettore ones from Lowe's, these guys right here made me thousands of dollars. So don't feel like you have to go out and get the best equipment right out the get-go, okay? Work up to some of that stuff, all right? Especially if you're on a budget like we talked about. Now, the next thing that I got was a square reader so that I could take also you know, credit cards as well for payment methods. Uh, you can use things like Venmo so that people can get paid. And we'll talk more about payments in other videos. Um, you're gonna see this next one that I have here. This is probably the most expensive purchase. And you're gonna need a ladder of some sort. You might not need this ladder, but you're gonna need a ladder. That ladder right there is a 20 foot, 24 foot aluminum ladder. It's a three section ladder. I got that ladder because I wanted something that I could break down easily and get into my car. Now I can reach almost up to three stories with that and using an extended pole, okay? The other thing that I got with this ladder is the Werner level lock. And this is a ladder leg leveler. You can see kind of on the bottom and it can extend. All I did is I put these things on the side right here. You screw these in on the side and it goes on both sides. And that guy right there, what that allows me to do is when I'm on an uneven surface, it allows me to still use that big ladder. Super vital, that was 95 bucks, um, but very valuable to have. Now, the other thing that I got is, and I actually picked these up at a pawn shop. Um, I ended up paying, I think, five bucks for them. They're usually like 15, 20 bucks. And they go on the top of the ladder, so that's where you don't scuff up the siding of someone's house. 
The other thing that I got to go with this ladder and to work on that ladder is this ladder stabilizer. It's a quick click. And once again, we'll go into some more videos where I go into depth with this stuff. But that ladder stabilizer right there was about $44. Super vital to have this thing. Uh, just from a safety standpoint, that way you don't go falling off a ladder. It just clips right into the top of the ladder and you can push it up against the side of the building. Just gives you a lot more surface area to work with so that your ladder doesn't tip over when you lean to the left or to the right. Um, the other thing that I got here is you can see all these towels that I do. And I just picked these up at Costco. They're microfiber towels. They're a pack of 30. I've honestly had those for, I mean, well, about a year, guys. I used those for about a year and just kept washing them. There's a certain process to wash them that I'll show you guys later on. But those cost me about 15 bucks to use. And like I said, I use those for over a year. All right, now for some add-on cells, what I did is I would clean people's screens. And this is just an Atori cobweb brush. And that ran me about 15 bucks to get that. And once again, guys, you can get this stuff a lot cheaper. Look at yard cells, look at um, you know pawn stores, look for stuff like that. And even Walmart, you can go and buy just a regular duster. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, to do that. Now, the other thing that I would recommend that you have, especially if you're not going to be able to get a lot of ladders in the beginning, uh, you could honestly get away with just an A-frame or, you know, just a ladder like this. You could probably honestly get away with that as long as you have a pole, okay? So this is a little five-foot pole here that I've just put a big brush on. So that's a five-foot Atori pole. That ran about, uh, I want to say, 10 bucks. Um, here's a 16-foot pole here. That pulls a lot bigger, and that one ran about 15, 20 bucks, I want to say. Probably 20 bucks is closer to that what that was. And you can see here, I just picked up these bottles. Get these bottles with the large goosenecks, these industrial sprayers. It's going to be so much better to have these ones, guys, because they don't break or anything. And if you drop them, they're going to survive the fall usually. Um, and they just hold a lot more liquid. That ran me, those are, you can get those at Lowe's for like four bucks or so. Um, you can use that. The other thing that I got um, to really increase my price, and a lot of window washers, you'll see, they don't make as much money. You'll be like, well, Trey, how are you making 2000 a week uh, doing just a few houses? Well, it's because I would add on a lot of services. So what I did is I picked up this vacuum here. The vacuum cost me 60 bucks from Home Depot. Once again, to get this vacuum, what I would do if I was you guys is I would go to a pawn shop. They sell these all the time, uh, really cheap there, but I just got a really tiny mini one, and then I just bought a little muffler on the back end, so when I'm in someone's house, it's not super loud. And that ran me 60 bucks to get that. So you can see that a lot of those are kind of fixed costs, right? I'm not gonna buy another ladder, I'm not buying another pole, I'm not buying another vacuum um, or stabilizer. You know, those were one-time purchases, one-time investments. And what I'll do now is I'll show you some of the other things that I have to buy uh, that are more variable costs that I got to continue to buy. And I'll kind of give you the price for those so you can see how you know, cheap those are. Okay, so let's talk about some of these variable costs that I have. Now, the window cleaner that I use is the super concentrate glass cleaner that's called Glass Gleam 4. Now, this stuff is $54.95. Look how big this bottle is. I've had this for literally, I had it for about two, two years, and that's how much that was ever used. It's very, very concentrated, very powerful stuff. Probably the best stuff I found on the market is this Glass Gleam 4. Um, if anyone's getting started, this is what I would say to use. Now, you might say, Trey, I don't have $54 to start. I can barely afford, you know, the squeegee and whatnot. Don't start with that, guys. You don't need to start with that. I made thousands of dollars without that. What I used was a mix of distilled white vinegar and Dawn soap with water mixed in a five-gallon bucket. That made me thousands of dollars. This little combo here, screw Windex, screw all that stuff. This stuff just rips gunk off the windows, leaves it super shiny. Love that combination. You'll hear a lot of window washers who begin start with that, and that's the reason, guys. It's super cheap. Go to your dollar store, pick up, you know, Dawn soap for a buck, and then pick up one of these for a buck at the dollar store as well, and you're set to go. Literally that, you know, it's gonna cost you nothing. Gonna cost you nothing essentially to get that. Under five bucks for those two things, gonna last you a long time. Okay, one of the other things that I bought that I have to buy kind of frequently is these shoe covers right here. I bought them on Amazon, about 100 count for 10 bucks for these. So I have my employees and I, we would wear these when we go inside houses. Um, it just shows a little extra level of care when you're inside someone's home and you slide these onto your feet. They take you a lot more serious 
Uh, and then when they see you paying attention to little details like that, they go, these guys really are legit. I see why I'm paying them, you know, $400 plus to do my home. Uh, so little things like that. What else do we got in here? We got some hydrogen peroxide, um, alcohol, get that at the dollar store, a buck a piece for those. That's great for when there's hard water on the windows. Um, some steel wool. I use steel wool at times that, that can run, I think like six bucks for the steel wool that you're buying. Um, and you can see here, it's kind of like my razor kit area. I've got this for when I've got a, we did a lot of construction homes and I'll kind of talk about that. So, ooh, that's rusty. Don't shank yourself. <laughs> but, um, we did a lot of construction homes and there'd be a lot of paint and stuff on the windows that we'd have to get off. And so I would just buy those. I mean, this, this guy cost me probably five bucks and then all the blades for it, a hundred count of blades, probably six bucks for that. Uh, see, you can see more vinegar here, super cheap. Um, and then face mask, you're gonna wanna get a kit of these, especially if you're dusting off windows uh, with that cobweb, cobweb brush that I talked about. These will run you, you know, about five bucks for a pack of like 20 of those. Um, so what else do we got here that I can show you guys? We just got some other little things, like for upsells, I would, I would use this to dust off um, blinds. That's just a little extra thing I would use. I can just swipe in real quick, pinch the blinds, and run them along and clean them. And that's something else that you can do to make a little extra money. All right, to wrap all this up real quick, just give you a quick brief overview. All you guys are gonna need is this little side bucket, okay? Your, your longer squeegee, your shorter squeegee, or you could just have a short one. Then you need a brush, all right? Pick up yourself some soap from the dollar store, a buck there, a buck there for some vinegar, five gallon bucket, grab yourself an A-frame ladder. If you don't already have one, ask a neighbor, go to a pawn shop, buy one of these, you'll find it super cheap. Next thing that you'll need is just one of these bottles, because we're gonna run you about three bucks to pick up one of these bottles from Home Depot. And guys, just with that, that right there, just those few things is all you actually need. You don't need all the rest of this stuff. You can start with just that and get your little investment money so that you can continue to invest back into your business. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to get started with this, okay? We're gonna go through a lot more videos in the coming weeks here about what this all entails, what exactly you need, but guys, it cost me about $700 to $800 to get started with this. Now, like I said, you don't need all this to get started. Literally, to get started, you just need 20 bucks to get the squeegee, another five bucks to get the Dawn soap and the vinegar, you know, go pick up a ladder from one of your neighbor's houses or something, ask to borrow their ladder. With just that, guys, and a five gallon bucket and some water, with just that, you can start making money um, and begin paying for to get the rest of this stuff. So you don't need 700 or 800 to start with, okay? What I actually had to do is I went and got a little small loan, real quick, a real quick small loan so that I could do this, okay? Some of you guys might have a credit card. Maybe you could put this, and I usually don't say put stuff on debt if you don't have money to pay for it, but you could go get a credit card, buy all this equipment that you need, and then pay it off within two jobs. Literally two jobs, guys, can, you can pay everything off. So you're gonna have to work for free for yourself, but then you could pay it off, okay? So I just wanna show you guys that there are hustles out there to make some good money on, and this is one of them. This is one of them you can do from going from broke, okay? And just so you guys know, yes, I am gonna go out and wash some windows so you guys can actually see this process, and I'll walk you through all these steps. So hopefully we can find some nice people. I'm gonna go hit the streets again, find some customers, maybe I'll call up some old clients and see if they'll let me come wash their windows again so that I can show you guys the full process. So I'm not just gonna talk about all this stuff, I'm not gonna talk about all the marketing, I'm actually gonna get up on these ladders again and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. That way you guys can follow right in my footsteps. I'm going to take you guys more through this process in the coming weeks so make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so you can see these hustles in action. Not where we just talk about them but where we actually do these side hustles right there with you guys showing how we actually generated money, how people we know generated money. All right guys hit that subscribe button we'll catch you later.